Okay, in this video, um, I'm trying another setup uh, with a spider cap um, and a flyback transformer. So I'll just go through it. Uh, 12 volt battery in, through a pulse width modulator, through a ZVS driver. So this combination allows the, uh, uh, the tuning. Um, we then go uh, through the ZVS flyback, uh, sorry, the flyback transformer, um, directly into the spark gap. One leg goes through here, through the toroid, which has a bifilo winding. Um, as in the previous uh, video, one goes out, one leg of the uh, toroid goes out through to the uh, earth. The other side um, goes through into this um, 230 uh, volt uh, incandescent bulb. Uh, the other side of that comes out through and into this TV yoke. We have a bifilar winding again. Uh, we're only using uh, this side of the yoke. Uh, we go in uh, from here. We are. If you can follow the brown cable here, it's a little bit like spaghetti. We go in here into the uh, Tesla coil, as you can see inside, all the way through, and then we have it coming back out whoop, through the black cable, which is, is uh, going all the way through the center, by the way. Um, then we come back through here, through a ferrite, um, yeah, ferrite rod with a partnered coil, and then in through the uh, normal setup. But instead of uh, the previous uh, collection coil on the outside, I have uh, this larger copper setup. Yeah, sorry. So um, basically we go all the way through the windings and uh, we come out again and through into this uh, strip light and then back into at the back into a another earth. So there's two earths in this system. So on the uh, Tesla, I have uh, two bifilar coils which I'm uh, connecting and also the uh, extra coils that I have uh, on this grenade I'm connecting them all together and also uh, the other side of this yoke again they're all connected together into um, yeah this uh, high voltage capacitor into a rectifier and then uh, into the 12 volt battery. The idea is um, just to be able to um, make the system function at the moment with uh, as less loss as possible. Um, I believe what we really need here for the next level will be the uh, step down transformer. Um, instead of this uh, strip light. So, I'll just turn it on. Um, again, this will read the uh, kilohertz because of the field here that's generating. It doesn't even need to be uh, connected. Um, this here will read the DC on the battery. And so we'll start. And if you can see, now we have the spark gap and we're increasing in the kilohertz range and the DC is slowly increasing we have the strip light on and if we increase to 35 kilohertz
Okay, today, 21. But uh, we have uh, very bright lighting. Um, I'll switch it down again. So a slight increase in the battery as well. So we're recuperating at this point. Well, basically, because of all the uh, extra AC that's coming out through the small um, collection coils, um, again, this is just a, a small update. Um, yeah, as to what's going on in the system. Um, yeah, there's other possibilities yet, but I just wanted to show you that uh, instead of the um, other arrangement that I had, um, what the difference was with the SPAC app involved in the system. Um, I'll just turn it on so that before I leave, you can have another look at the setup. You can also see the plasma there. Nice purple glow before. Well, the system won't work without the 2S. So good grounding. That's needed. And nothing more on the battery. Well, uh, any comments, uh, please feel free. Somebody write. <laughs> Thanks for watching.